all the discussion has been around Port Adelaide and their prison bars push. Should they be able to wear it for two games a season when they play the Adelaide Crows in a showdown? Is this connecting them to their heritage? Is that what's is that what sport is all about, um, or is this about Collingwood's heritage? Ben Hook joins me now. G'day, Hooky. Hi, Jules. Um, all right, so we had a <laughs> robust discussion. I had some Collingwood supporters on from Melbourne yesterday at okay, this time. Yeah. None of them seemed to particularly mind, no. despite what Eddie said. There's only one particular Collingwood supporter who seems awfully worked up about it. And he's Is the there? former president who seems to have his hand up the back of the shirt of the current president. Well, f- f- firstly, let's talk about heritage. Yeah. Now, you could say that if you watch, say, Fox Sports and see these, a lot of Victorian commentators, or watch any football media, even the front bar, there's a lot of heritage when it comes to old VFL teams. Mm. No one has a problem in tapping into that heritage, you know. They talk about Carlton Collingwood, the great game. Yes. They haven't played a good game in about 20 years. You can't Carlton remember Collingwood. the last one. Yeah, and, you know, when it, so, but there's a problem in 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 the heritage of ex sandful and Waffle Clubs, isn't there? Yeah. The AFL has a real problem with their heritage it, in general. It's a classic question. Everyone's heritage is their heritage, and why... Does the AFL think that VFL heritage is more important than Sandful heritage or Waffle heritage? And I think that's a really sad part of the debate. Uh, Point number two I'd make out of all of this is I've never quite understood why last week the Anzac Day game is a classic example where two sides went out in very, very similar Guernseys. I know. Predominantly black. And all of these Collingwood and Essendon supporters say, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, yeah, they're similar, but there's no great clash, it's fine, you know, that's what we that's what we wear. But suddenly when someone comes up with a Guernsey that's what they deem to be a, a, a threat to their own existence, it's it absolutely has to be changed, it can't be worn, this is something to fight about. My third issue is that this is a little bit sinister. Let's be honest, Collingwood right now is a basket case of a football club. They're one and five. They're possibly going to sack their coach before the end of the year. Yes, they were grand finalists in 2018, but they had to offload half of their good players uh, over the off-season because their, their football department couldn't add up the salary cap. They're a very, very mediocre club at the moment. And when you're mediocre, you have two options, Jules. You can either get better... Or you can try and undermine the clubs that are better than you. And they've chosen Category 2 here. They've chosen Option 2, haven't they? Oh. They've gone, let's undermine Port Adelaide because we can't match it with them right now. I, I was in Melbourne last weekend and I was just, I just sort of did a little bit of an audit in my head. I looked at people who were wearing sports merchandise. Mm. Um, I saw people, you know, wearing Arsenal tops, Chelsea tops, a lot of Man U tops, a lot of women who were sort of doing brisk walks in the morning in their leggings and they were wearing, you know, Boston Red Sox caps, New York Knicks caps. I saw young kids, Chicago Bulls. I saw Seattle Seahawks. Mm. I did not... The ratio of the way global franchises, sporting franchises, are marketing and, the you know, to the amount of the AFL is merchandising, we're getting pantsed. Well, I say we, I'm yeah. an AFL fan, are getting pantsed as a sport yeah. when it comes to merchandising. Yeah. And we're stopping a group of supporters who want to buy a whole heap of tops <laughs> and wear it around the city and when they go into state to play Victorian teams with pride. The AFL is saying, oh, let's not merchandise, let's not promote the sport by mm. giving you something to wear to say you're a proud supporter of, you know, they're meant to grow the game, the AFL. Yeah. The EPL would never do this. The NBA would never prevent people from buying... From, from actually buying... Buying the, a top. The replica top. That yeah. promotes their sport. I don't get what the end game is with the AFL here. It's it's an interesting sideline to that. You walk into a sports store just off of Rundle Mall and you'll see all of the AFL Guernseys, are, uh, they're not personalised. So you don't see the number. You don't see 33 and Darcy Byrne-Jones in the name. I mean, the players don't wear their names anyway. But then you look at the NBA gear and you'll see the Boston Celtics shirt with Jason Tatum's name Mm. on the back. I mean, that's how it comes sold. It's actually packaged up as a personalised thing. And we don't do that with AFL merchandising either. Merchandising. We are miles behind, aren't we? And you would think that this is just an absolute no-brainer for the AFL to say, yeah, why don't we see how much we can leverage our traditional Gerns, our, our our playing strips, if you like, and uh, yeah, absolutely leverage that to our fans. I've got one more point about this as well, and I know you brought it up before the 5.30 news, so I just want to make mention of this. We have this situation in the AFL at the moment where Collingwood's heritage is being treated more importantly than uh, Port, Adelaide. Port Adelaide's heritage. 
wouldn't it be like, sad like, if we had to just remove one club's heritage? I think that'd be really unfortunate. Yeah. There's got to be a better way, and the AFL should be setting the example. They have to grow the game. The AFL can't be convinced that in 100 years in Australia that this will be a dominant sport as it is now. Mm. They take it for granted. They take their fan, fans for granted. They didn't grow the game in Tasmania. It's dying there. Yep. They're, they're, they're peeing off a whole heap of Port Adelaide fans right now in yep. this state. 